Guess what? A treasure that was thought to be lost forever has been found. Back in April 2015, Deep Ocean Search, a team of treasure hunters, recovered 50 million pounds worth of silver rupee coins from the British steamship. The ship sank in the 40s during its journey from India to England. The wreck was found at a whopping depth of almost 17,000 feet, setting a world record for the deepest recovery ever. To put that into perspective, the famous Titanic wreck is only found at a depth of 12,500 feet. But don't be duped, this was no easy feat. The team faced multiple breakdowns of their systems due to the pressure, temperature, and repeated dives at such a depth. Did you hear about the epic treasure found on the Black Swan Wreck? It was discovered by Odyssey Marine Exploration in 2007 off Gibraltar, and they hit the jackpot. The salvage team found a whopping 17 tons of coins worth $500 million. Can you even imagine that much money? It's said to be the biggest haul ever found in the treasure hunting world. But the crew didn't spill the beans on where they found it or what kind of coins they uncovered. They just hightailed it back to the US with their loot. Sneaky. An old man in the Dominican Republic was selling a coin that ended up being the oldest coin ever minted in the New World. And that's just the start of the craziest shipwreck story ever. The team at Deep Blue Marine used some fancy sonar to search the area where the coin was found, and they stumbled upon parts of a wrecked ship. They also found jade statues, ancient Mayan bling, and gold coins from way back in 1535. Like, one set of four coins alone is worth a cool $1 million. The crew got to keep half of their booty while the Dominican Republic authorities snagged the rest. It's believed the ship sank during a gnarly hurricane just a few years after Columbus discovered the New World. No other shipwreck has ever turned up such ancient artifacts. We all heard about the Titanic, the OG shipwreck, known for its epic tragedy when it hit an iceberg in 1912. But what's even crazier is that $300 million worth of diamonds went down with it. Like, can you imagine? American and French researchers who found the ship auctioned off nearly 6,000 items recovered from the wreck. We're talking diamond bracelets, fancy dishes, and even a postcard a passenger wrote to their parents. Treasures from the Titanic are still popping up for auction. Like, some deck chairs from the first-class promenade deck were auctioned off for 85,000 pounds. They're too delicate to sit on now, but still a crazy piece of history. The Schmitz, a family of treasure hunters, just stumbled upon over $1 million worth of gold artifacts in shallow waters only 30 miles north of West Palm Beach. And get this, one of the coins was even meant for the King of Spain. These treasures were part of the 1715 treasure fleet that sank 300 years ago due to a massive hurricane after leaving Havana, Cuba. Can you believe it was only 15 feet deep in the water? They found 51 gold coins and 40 feet of ornate gold chain. Talk about hitting the jackpot. Brent Brisbane, the owner of 1715 Fleet Queen's Jewels, LLC, said those finds were important not just for their monetary value, but their historical importance. But there's more. The ship was recovered over 50 years ago, and divers have only found about $50 million worth of treasure. It's believed that there's still over $400 million worth of treasure hiding below the sea. The ultimate party of exploration just got a little more exciting. We're talking about Vasco da Gama's Esmeralda, the oldest shipwreck from Europe's age of exploration, baby. This bad boy was wrecked in a gnarly storm back in 1503 along the India route from Europe in the Arabian Sea. But wait, it gets better. The wreck was actually found way back in 1998, but it took almost two decades to excavate it. And guess what? They found rare coins, a ship bell, and other cool artifacts that confirmed the identity of the ship. And the treasures are still being uncovered. Just last year in 2017, they discovered a unique navigational tool called an astrolabe at the wreck. How cool is that? A bunch of Indonesian fishermen found a super old ship from the 9th century off Belitung Island in 1998. 
It proved that trading between China and the Middle East was totally a thing back then thanks to the Maritime Silk Route. The wreck is so cool that it's also known as the Tang Treasure because it's the biggest collection of Chinese Tang Dynasty artifacts ever found in one spot. But there's some serious drama going down over an exhibition of these priceless treasures. It's like a battle between commercial treasure salvage and archaeological preservation of shipwrecks. Who will win? Only time will tell. Meet the Holy Grail of Shipwrecks! It's the Spanish Galleon San Jose and it was loaded with silver, gold and emeralds worth billions of dollars today. But get this, it sunk after a battle with British ships off the coast of Cartagena, Colombia way back in 1708. Crazy, right? But here's the kicker. 300 years later, in 2015, some awesome peeps discovered the wreck on the ocean floor. The Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution used a cool underwater vehicle to identify the ship by its distinctive cannons, and they're still recovering treasure as we speak. So, if you're feeling lucky, keep your eyes peeled for other hidden treasures that haven't been found yet. The ultimate jackpot, the sunken mother load of the Nuestra Señora de Atoca was discovered off the coast of Key West, Florida in July 1985. Mel Fisher, the legendary treasure hunter, spent a whopping 16 years searching for it. The Atocha was on a mission to bring back loads of riches to Spain from Havana, Cuba back in 1622, but got caught up in a gnarly hurricane. To celebrate the 30th anniversary of the discovery, there was a sick auction where people could buy pieces of the Atocha's treasure, like gold and emeralds. If you're keen to see more of this epic haul, head to the Mel Fisher Maritime Museum in Key West. The whole shebang is worth around $450 million, no biggie. Hey, have you ever dreamt of finding buried treasure and becoming a millionaire overnight? Well, guess what? It's not just a dream. Meet Forrest Fenn, the man who hid a chest filled with one to five million dollars worth of treasure in the Rocky Mountains. And get this. It took 10 years for someone to finally find it. Fenn announced the treasure hunt back in 2010, and over the years, tens of thousands of people set off to look for it. The treasure chest was filled with 265 American gold eagles and double eagles, ancient coins, gold nuggets, and more. But finding it wasn't easy. Fenn used a poem with 24 lines that had hints in it, and it took some serious decoding skills to figure out where the treasure was hidden. Finally, in June 2020, the long-awaited news came. The treasure had been found. The lucky winner was Jack Stueff, a former journalist and medical student. The treasure was hidden under a canopy of stars in the forest in the Rocky Mountains, and it was so well hidden that not all the advertised treasures were found in the chest. But don't let that stop you from trying your luck at finding buried treasure. Who knows? Maybe you'll be the next lucky winner. And if you need some inspiration, just remember that Forrest Fenn's only goal was to give people some hope. So why not give it a shot and see what you can find? Who knows, maybe you'll become a millionaire too. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.